Look, the first thing that I, need, I want to get across to you in the memo is tomorrow, the midday to early afternoon high tide in Hampton, uh, New Hampshire. We hit 3.67 feet with that crazy stuff we saw on Wednesday. We're now forecast at 13.7, just inches higher than we were on Wednesday. So right now, if the forecast and the tidal flooding hold, you're going to do it again uh, tomorrow during the midday into the early afternoon. Windswept downpour Saturday morning actually give way to p.m. breaks of sun. So if you're not at the coast, it turns into actually a very nice second half of the day tomorrow. Uh, right now, the most river flooding is expected to be minor river flooding for us here. But, of course, it keeps the waters flowing fast. 20s north and west of town in spots most of us either side of 30 to get things started out. We do have a blend to sun and clouds to begin the day. It's going to be a fine day today. Yeah, there's a big storm off to the west. Blizzard conditions on the north side, a tornado watch when you get on the south side of the storm down in the Mississippi River Delta. But here at home, we've got a blend of sun and clouds. We come into the 40s. The wind actually goes quiet for a little bit in the early afternoon as it shifts from northwest to southeast by late in the day. So I think you'll enjoy the day, all things considered. Uh, really, at lunchtime, you can find where you're going to be, but mid 40s already, or low to mid 40s anyway. By the time the kids get out of school, the clouds are starting to come in. They're wispy clouds. They're actually going to be a little pretty at first and then they think in this evening if you're going out to dinner you'll be in the upper 30s or so it'll be mostly cloudy sky but there's nothing expected to happen through 10 30 tonight so when's it begin about half past midnight the mix is in pink blue is snow and green is rain if you're along and inside of 495 you're pretty much all rain that develops after midnight if you're from Worcester to Fitchburg and Lemonster north that's where we get a little burst of snow but that goes to rain very quickly and by seven o'clock tomorrow morning it's raining and nearly 50 degrees in Boston it's going to pour tomorrow morning it's going to be a lot of wind too still snowing up in the mountains even through 9 a.m. And then really for a lot of us by noontime, sure, there'll still be a couple scattered showers around at noon or into the afternoon. But they're scattered. The sun comes out. Look at the temperatures. You're up into the 50s. Uh, in terms of the snow, I think you're probably getting a little burst of one to two inches in northern and northwest Worcester County that comes in after midnight. One to two and two to four in the Berkshires. Uh, four to six and six to eight in a couple of summits when you get up the greens. And then yet again, it is the mountains of New Hampshire that make out great. Mount Washington Valley, White Mountains, Presidentials, eight to 12, six to eight. And eight, uh, when you run right up through the uh, spine of the Mahusic Range. Of course, here at home in the Boston area, it's more just rain, right? We're talking about an inch, maybe an inch and a half in spots. It comes in again, enough for minor river flooding again. Uh, we get to 11 o'clock tonight. The wind isn't really kicking yet. So when's the wind get bad? Tomorrow morning, pre-dawn. Here's 4 a.m. You're gusting over 40. By 7 a.m., that's probably the worst wind. You're gusting over 50 in eastern Mass and seacoast New Hampshire. Uh, we probably will do it again, by the way, on the western slopes of the greens and the northwest slopes of the whites like we did last time. You get onto the Cape, we may gust over 60, but notice by like 9, 10 o'clock, the worst of the wind's over. It's still windy tomorrow afternoon, uh, but it's not damaging at all. And again, you get the breaks of sun. By Sunday, it's blustery stuff that comes in. You're going to feel that. There may be a passing snow shower from time to time on Sunday, a 40% chance. But really, what Sunday marks is the beginning of a brand new pattern that comes in, and that pattern is midwinter. You've got a chance of snow Tuesday, a chance of snow next Friday. Look at next weekend. Early call, mid-20s on highs. Wow.